Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about tretinoin, the uses, the side effects, and the contradictions. So if you want to find out more, keep on watching. What is tretinoin? Tretinoin is a synthetic retinoid derived from vitamin A. It treats acne, wrinkles, and improves hyperpigmentation and skin texture. It works by stimulating cell turnover at a faster rate. And when you notice that your skin is shedding or peeling, that is what it's doing. It's replacing old skin cells with new skin cells, starting from the epithelial layer of the skin all the way down to the subcutaneous layer of skin, also known as the hypodermis. Let's talk about the potential side effects of using tretinoin. So you may experience burning, itching, stinging, scaling, or redness of the skin. Like I was talking about earlier, this is completely normal. If you keep a daily routine and you use it almost every single day, but if you have really sensitive skin, I recommend using this product every four days because it can leave your skin feeling raw and you don't really want that. And another side effect is chapping or slight peeling, darkening of the skin, lightening of normal skin color, lightening of treated dark areas of the skin, redness of the skin, like I said earlier, dryness or unusually warm skin. Now that I gave you guys a clear view on the dangers of tretinoin, what it is, who can use it, now it's time for my review. I have nothing but good things to say about tretinoin. At first, my skin was irritated because I have seborrheic dermatitis, hormonal acne, combo skin, uh, actinic keratosis, and dermatitis lentigo. I also get tiny milias around my eye and my lower eyelid, sometimes on my upper eyelid, depending. They can get so annoying, but if you guys want me to do a separate video on how to get rid of milia, please like this video and comment if you want me to. But... I'd say if you're looking for a good topical cream that would target wrinkles and sunburns, I totally recommend that you try tretinoin. But if you have severe sensitive skin, maybe you should try adapalene or different gel because those are more on the safer side than tretinoin. I apologize if I sound a bit different than in the beginning of the video. I did get COVID and before I got COVID, I did record this video and I pre-recorded the audio until I got COVID and then I had to stop and then I just picked it back up again. Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you guys want more topical cream reviews, then don't forget to hit that subscribe button, the like button, and don't forget to comment. Alright, well, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!